Hi, I'm Robert Crow, and today we're going to explore the strengths of JAX and Flex NNX, a powerful combination for tackling complex computational challenges. We'll see how JAX provides a high-performance foundation using function transformations and modern hardware, and how Flex NNX offers a user-friendly way to build neural networks on top of JAX, making this an ideal combination for advanced AI machine learning, and scientific computing. We've heard from the community that they recognize and appreciate JAX. Here's a quote. Google developed JAX because Google needed JAX. We learned from years of experience in ML and then AI, and successive generations of frameworks, starting with disbelief, and then TensorFlow. Google needs high performance to work at massive scales with huge models and data sets. Google also needs a framework that is flexible and modular in order to innovate quickly for both research and production use cases. So high performance, flexibility, and modularity became the guiding principles for the development of JAX. Nearly all of the AI and scientific research that Google and DeepMind do is done using JAX. That includes both Gemini, Gemma, Imogen, Vio, etc. The whole, the whole range of stuff. There are good reasons for that. Let's start with JAX itself. Think of JAX not just as another library, but as a high-performance platform for numerical computing in Python. It builds on the familiar syntax of Python and NumPy, but adds powerful capabilities through composable function transformations, JIT, GRAD, VMAP, and SHARDMAP, and a few others. These allow JAX to automatically optimize your standard Python code for accelerators like GPUs and TPUs. And while it's widely used in machine learning, its core strengths make it valuable for any field that needs fast numerical computation. DAX isn't just fast on one GPU or TPU, it's designed to scale. Thanks to the underlying XLA compiler, distributing computations across multiple devices often requires surprisingly little extra code compared to some other frameworks. You tell JAX how to split or shard your data and XLA handles the complex parts of coordinating the work and the communication between devices. This also means your code often scales well automatically. Run the same code on more devices and XLA adapts. Plus, JAX provides excellent portability. Code you write can typically run across CPUs, NVIDIA GPUs, and Google TPUs without modification because XLA handles the hardware specifics. Scalability is incredibly important for any kind of production AI, and JAX shows near-ideal scalability. Here's a November 2023 study which showed near-perfect scaling to over 50,000 TPUs. Let's take a closer look at that graph. You can see at the very upper end, it diverges slightly from ideal linear scaling, but only slightly, and that's a big deal. On GPUs, you can see the benchmark here showing state-of-the-art training performance for Llama 405B using FPA training on A3 Ultra, which is based on NVIDIA's H200. As you can see in the graph, we are able to scale near linearly at very high performance up to at least 1024 GPUs. We use a metric called EMFU, which is effective model flops utilization, which is the ratio of utilized FP8 flops divided by the peak BF16 flops, and we achieve greater than 80% EMFU, which is state-of-the-art performance at this scale. We're able to achieve this kind of performance at scale because of our close partnership with NVIDIA, as well as the core tenets of JAX, which is designed for performance. Developers have told us that they appreciate JAX's modern approach to parallelism. Here's another quote.
Portability across accelerators can be important for a number of reasons, including the ability to train on one set of hardware and run inference or continued training on different hardware with minimal code changes, if any. This is common, for example, in autonomous vehicle applications, edge and mobile, and robotics, where onboard hardware is limited. A 2023 study by Cohere and MIT demonstrated the benefits of XLA in terms of hardware portability. And as you can see, their study demonstrated that JAX had the highest success rates and lowest failure rates across both GPUs and TPUs. Now, let's talk about Flex and an X. The JAX AI stack is built with a modular layered architecture. JAX itself builds on XLA, and the other libraries in the stack build on JAX. These are the same libraries that DeepMind uses. We'll focus now on Flax NX, a library for building neural networks that is designed to be Pythonic, familiar, and relatively easy to use. Flax is a popular neural network library for JAX, and NNX is its modern API, introduced in 2024. NNX was explicitly designed to make building neural networks in JAX simpler, more flexible, and more intuitive for the developer. It aims to streamline the process of creating, inspecting, and debugging models, building on the experience gained from earlier JAX libraries. A key strength of NNX is its Pythonic design. It uses standard Python object semantics. Think classes, attributes, methods, and even standard reference sharing, which is great for things like sharing weights between layers. You define your network components by subclassing NNX module. Setting up layers like convolutions, linear layers, or batch normalization as attributes in the dunder init method, and defining the forward pass in the dunder call method. This is a pattern familiar to many Python programmers. It makes NNX feel very natural. A key part of this is that NNX modules are now native PyTrees, so they integrate seamlessly with JAX's core transformations. This significantly lowers the learning curve for developers coming from object-oriented frameworks who want to tap into JAX's power. Now let's take a look at the JAX ecosystem. It's not as big as either PyTorch or the TensorFlow ecosystems, but it's growing fast. Beyond JAX Core and Flax NNX, one of the biggest advantages is the rapidly growing ecosystem surrounding JAX. There's already a huge number of libraries and projects built on JAX, which really speaks to its power and flexibility across many different fields, well beyond typical deep learning tasks. This is partly due to JAX's modular design, where the core is kept lean and clean, allowing specialized communities to build on top. For those looking for a stable starting point for AI development, the JAX AI stack offers a curated set of core libraries that are tested to work well together. Here's just a taste of the ecosystem's breadth. You can see dedicated libraries for various neural network approaches beyond Flax NNX, like Penzi and Equinox. There are specialized toolkits for training large foundation models extensive libraries for reinforcement learning, including environments and algorithms, and powerful tools for probabilistic programming and Bayesian modeling. JAX truly shines in scientific computing with libraries for molecular dynamics, quantum physics, cosmology, solving differential equations, and much more. Add to that state-of-the-art optimization libraries like Optax and Essential Utilities, and you get a very comprehensive platform. We'll explore more of the reasons that developers love JAX when we dive into each section, but for now, let's take a high-level look at it. JAX provides an incredibly strong foundation for high-performance computing, leveraging XLA and composable transformations like JIT, GRAD, VMAP, and others. Its functional approach boosts performance and reproducibility. Flax NNX builds beautifully on this foundation. By making modules native JAX Pi trees, it offers a modern, Pythonic, and intuitive way to develop neural networks that integrates directly and seamlessly with JAX's power. 
When you combine JAXA's performance with NNX's usability and the sheer breadth of the surrounding ecosystem, you get a truly premier platform for researchers and engineers pushing the boundaries in AI, machine learning, and complex scientific computation. You can learn more about JAX and the entire JAX AI stack with these coding exercises, quick reference docs, and slides. To watch the whole Learning JAX series, check out our playlist on YouTube. There's a growing community on Discord for JAX, and here's an invite link, and here are links to the docs for JAX, Flax, and the JAX AI stack. There's much more coming in our upcoming episodes, so stay tuned, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.